Hello everyone. So in this video, I will show you a shortcut of system.out.println. I know that you guys are tired of typing this again and again in your project. So let's see how can we do this. So if you understand how method works, you will understand the concept here. If you don't, you can just copy and paste this code um, in your project and you'll see that it's going to work. But if you understand how method works, if you understand class or object oriented programming, this will make more sense. All right, so let's get started. So I'm going to create a method, um, static method. So let's say static void and I'm going to name it print. And here I'm going to use object. Now, object is a class and it's actually the parent class of all the classes in Java by default. Okay, so this is like the top most class of Java. Now this object class is um, important or helpful you can say that um, if you're using an object and you don't know the type you can use this class. So for example I'm going to say object uh, print. Okay. So I created an object and the name of this object is just print. And what I want to do with this print. So I'm going to say system dot out dot print ln and here I'm going to say print. So what I did here is that inside the print I just pass the object print. That means if I call this method and if I pass anything, what's going to happen is that it's going to just print that for you. So for example, if I call the method print and what I want to print, so I'm going to say, okay, hello world. This is the famous thing to print in any programming language. So if you do this, that means this print is going to be replaced with hello world. And you can see that it shows here actual value of parameter print is always hello world. So basically your hello world becomes the print thing and you're passing this here so that means it's going to print that for you. So instead of writing system.out you can just write print and it will just work. So now if I run this you will see that it's going to print hello world. Similarly I can print another one print and I can say hello world again. Okay so now you can see that I don't have to type system.out.println again I just have to create this method here and just use the word print anywhere in my code so if I run this again you'll see that it's going to print hello world and it's going to do hello world again okay so this is a shortcut that you can use um, instead of typing system.out.println it will do the same thing using just print Okay, I hope this video is helpful. Thank you guys. Bye.